Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I am finally bringing you guys an updated blowout slash how I blow dry my hair straight routine video. A ton of you guys have been asking me to do an updated video and honestly I probably should do an updated video considering the fact that the first video was literally filmed on my iPhone. So for today's video, I'm going to bring you an updated how I blow dry my hair straight routine, and I'm also going to show you how I maintain my blowouts throughout the week so that they can last a long period of time because I honestly only wash my hair once a week and I only use heat on my hair once a week. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this blowout hair, well not this blowout hair because this is obviously curled with extensions, but if you guys would like to see how I blow dry my hair then just keep watching. Okay, so starting off with freshly washed hair, I'm going to prep my hair for this whole blow dry experience because you always want to make sure your hair is protected as much as possible from the heat that you're about to use. So I'm just going to comb my Bumble and Bumble BB Blow Dry Repair Elixir through my hair, really focusing on the ends of my hair and the blonde sections of my hair because that is where I have experienced the most damage and want to prevent any breakage from those sections. Then I'm going to put my headphones in because I obviously have to listen to music as I am blow drying my hair. And I'm going to section a small section of hair just below my ear and pin the rest of the hair up and start blow drying. So I'm using the Alchem blow dryer like I have shown in my original OG video. And I'll have it linked down below in the description box if you guys would like to check it out. And I'm also using a round brush that has a mixture of boar bristles and plastic bristles. The boar bristles will really help pull on the tension of the hair which helps give curly hair that smooth effect. And the plastic bristles will help comb through the hair to prevent any knots and tangles so that you're really getting a nice smooth effect. Once that section is completely dry and straight, I am then going to take it and wrap it around into a small bun and pin it out of the way. And this really helps it hold that blowout curl look or effect, I guess you could call it, while you're doing the rest of your hair. So your hair is just going to kind of cool down in the shape and really help hold that blow dry shape. So again, starting with the blow dryer while singing, because I'm cool like that. So starting with the blow dryer angled up and my round brush on the top of my hair, I'm just going to roll the brush up towards my scalp and then smooth it down with the blow dryer. I really hope I'm doing a good job at explaining this. I'm probably doing a terrible job. I don't know what other words to use to explain this technique that I use. It's just, I just find it easier for me to blow dry my hair with the round brush on top and the blow dryer at the bottom rather than the other way around. This will help give your hair a flipped out effect and if you were to round brush it the other way around where the round brush is underneath and the blow dryer is on top, this will give you more of a curled under effect. When doing this on myself, I do find that it is easier to kind of pull on the brush and blow dry your hair at the same time when the brush is on top. It, I don't know, it's just a better angle for me. So once I've worked through all my sections and have my hair pinned up and out of the way, I'm just going to section out my bangs and for this last section of hair, I'm just going to blow dry my hair towards my face and I find that this helps give me a little bit of body and movement and volume at the top of my head. And by blow drying my bangs this way, I get it to do that nice little flippy, voluminous hair flip. I have no idea what to call it. I sound like a crazy person in this video, but <laughs> I find that by doing this with my bangs, I get like that nice little flip in the front where it kind of looks very effortless and like a Victoria's Secret model, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna continue through this section, working my way towards the back of my head while pulling my hair forward just to build some volume at the crown. And I really need to get my roots touched up. Can we just talk about my hair? It's looking like a hot mess right now. is done I usually let my hair down and flip it around every once in a while because I just love the feeling of a fresh blowout and now to answer probably two of the most popular asked questions when I do my blowouts the first one is how do I maintain moisture in my hair after applying so much heat so this is literally what I do every night before I go to bed or sometimes every morning before I go out. I'll take a little bit of my organic jojoba oil 
and I will squeeze a little bit of it into my hands and kind of run that through my hair really focusing on my ends and these sections of my hair where I have the lightest blonde parts in because these sections are the driest part of my hair and I experience a lot of breakage whenever I apply way too much heat to these sections so I really like to make sure that they stay moisturized and hydrated after I just dried the crap out of it. The second most popular asked question is how do I sleep with my blowout or maintain it throughout the week? So every night what I do is I kind of brush my hair up into this little ponytail on the top of my head and I'll secure my hair into almost like a top knot. So I'll hold the base of my ponytail and I'll just really really twist the hair until it starts to form a tight little donut and then I will wrap it around itself. Secure it with an elastic band and that's it. Now I do get the little layers that stick out so I will either pin them in or I'll just leave them and let them be. It's not a big deal. And I'll just go to bed and I sleep on a silk pillowcase which really helps to hold my hair shape. And then in the morning I just let it down and it still has its blowout shape. And there you have it guys, a very quick and simple routine on how I blow dry my hair straight. Let me know down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions about my routine. And also remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you in our next video. Bye!